question today is on statistics and we are going to determine the quartile deviation of a given data. So we have the data as shown. So find the quartile deviation of the data below. So the first thing for search and group data, we are simply going to arrange the data in ascending order. So we're going to begin with two. So far we only have one, two, then we have four, because there's no three, so we have four, and there are two fours, so these and that. Next we are going to look at five, we only have one five, and then for six, we have one, two, three, so we have six, 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 and then for seven, there's no seven, eight. So far we only have one, so eight. And then for nine, we only have one. And finally, 10, we only have one. So they are one, two, three, four, five. So they are 10, one, two, three, four, five. So there's none missing. So from this arrangement, we are going to divide the data into halves. So we have the half because they are 10. So we have the lower half and the upper half. So the median of the upper half should give us the upper quartile. So we have 8 being the median, so it's in the middle. So that gives us the upper quartile, Q3. And then on the lower half, we have four here as the lower quartile. So that the quartile deviation is given by Q3 minus Q1 over two. So as we've seen, Q1 is four and Q3 is 8, therefore we are simply going to have 8 minus 4 divided by 2. So this should give us, that is 4 over 2, and that is 2. So that is it for this question. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next video.